I, I'm sorry, it comes across as almost a bit unpatriotic to ask literally the enemy of the free world right now for propaganda for a political opponent. I mean, it, it just seemed like a, a horrendous thing to do by the former president, no? L L Chuck, here's the reality. If, if, if um, Hunter Biden's name was Don Trump, Donald Trump Jr., Eric Trump, you guys would be treating the, the uh, war in, in Ukraine like no, it was what a about voice it? Enough it is. Gone that is the la Senator, that is the laziest attack. It is it's, not it's about the media. Honest. It it's also honest. It doesn't matter honest. about the media. Is it the right thing to do for the former president of the United States to ask an enemy of the free world to do this? Well, it's n what the former president is doing is nothing compared to what the current president is doing in this circumstance. That's really the bigger issue. Donald Trump is Donald Trump. He hasn't changed. He's not going to change. It's more interesting to the Washington press corps than it is to the general public. W w was it the wisest thing in the world to say? Perhaps not, but he's Donald Trump, and he says these things. And the reality is that Vladimir Putin is a war crime, a war criminal. I wouldn't trust anything that came out of it. If he had, if he had actual evidence that a crime was committed, if any of us had evidence that a crime was committed, we ought to present it. That's obvious. The problem is, to your point, the source would not be a trustworthy source, obviously. But once again, Donald Trump baited you all, and you all took the bait, and now we're having a, you know, now we're having a discussion about the Bidens. <laughs>